I'd like to dedicate this to all of the Creator's righteous children. I have some food in my bag for you. Not that edible food, the food you eat? No. I have some food for thought. Since knowledge is infinite, it has infinitely fell on me. So, um... Hello again, moviegoers, TV watchers, and music listeners. On today's episode of Discovered... We're going to be talking about a hippie with soul, Alan Stone, and he is amazing. You will be floored by his vocals. He is incredible. He is the man. He is the voice. He is so good. If you're looking for some real good soul music from indie soul music from 2016, 2017, the two 2010s, you will not be disappointed by Mr. Alan Stone. He is incredible and just amazing. I don't know what else to say. So you will hear all about him and what he does and the music he makes and why I love him all right now. So sit back and relax and chill out. Yeah. So, Alan Stone was born March 13, 1987, in Washington State, in a small town about 45 minutes north of Spokane, with a population of approximately 2,600 people. Alan Stone began his career singing in his father's church. His father was a preacher and his mother was an OBGYN nurse. He sang in the church since he was three years old, and by 14, Stone was leading worship, worship at his church and playing the guitar. The draw of music for Alan was mainly being able to express himself to a crowd of people. Alan did not discover soul music until he was a teenager. Once he discovered the music, he started collecting classic albums from the 1960s and 70s. He was 15 when he heard Stevie Wonder's 1973 album, Intervisions. When one of his friends became successful in music, Stone decided to become serious about his musical career. Stacy. Orico, a close friend of his when he was a teen, had come out with a record and had become successful. She was traveling, singing everywhere, and recording. Stone says, She was just a year older than me, and I was like, Man, that would be so much fun to do, sing and actually have people listen. When Alan was 18, he moved from his hometown to Spokane, Washington, where he attended community college for a semester, followed by a year at Moody Bible Institute in Spokane. After that year, Stone had a revelation. He stated in an interview with San Francisco Gate, I learned that the history of the church and the corruption of the Bible and learned about their religion and I just, and I really just like, didn't believe it. I got to the point where it was like, I don't believe this is the truth. Not long after, he moved to Seattle, Washington to pursue his musical career. He has, so Alan Stone has released records, Last to Speak, in 2010, which was self-released. And then he had his self-titled album, Alan Stone, in 2011. And then Radius, in 2015, uh, produced by Capitol Records. And Radius was also released by ATO Records in 2016 as as a deluxe edition with seven additional tracks. And then Stone has been touring cross-country for a few years and sold a self-released album on the internet. However, it was not until October 2011 when his second album was released that his career began to truly kick off. On this album, he was backed by Raphael Sadiq, Rhythm Section, and Miles Davis keyboard, Darren Johnson. A few songs on Alan's were co-created by Andy Grammer. And basically, Alan Stone is incredible in... January 3rd of 2013, he appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and sang Sleep. Um, He's appeared on Conan and Radius, his first album with Capitol Records, was released on May 26, 2015. It was recorded in collaboration with Minkus Tingsek and and features production from Maylee and Benny Cassette. Alan Stone said said of the album title, Radius is the line extended from the center of the circle to its exterior, and in a lot of ways this album is about getting out things deep inside, whether it's love or insecurity or joy or frustration about things going on today. On March 25th, 2016, Radius was released as a deluxe edition by ATO Records with seven additional tracks. 
On April 13th, 2017, Stone's song Perfect World was featured on the trailer for the upcoming Netflix series Dear White People, which is a good series by the way, go check it out. So how did I first discover Alan Stone? Well, I was flipping channels one day on the TV and there's this channel that used to be VH1 Soul, but I think it's now BET Soul or BET Jams or I don't even know what it's called anymore. But I was flipping channels and I came across this singer and I didn't know who he was at the time. I had no idea, but he was like this white guy and I was like, okay. And then I, and I kept getting really intrigued by this music video and it was like a live studio recording or live studio session of him singing one of my favorite songs of his of all time unaware from his second studio or his first studio album second album uh self-titled alan stone and i was intrigued from the minute i heard his voice and he felt it out oh my gosh please go on youtube right now and go watch his performance of unaware from like a long time ago it's Oh my gosh, it's so incredible. It's from his mother's basement. Like he's recording the song in his mother's basement and it's phenomenal. Oh my gosh, you will just go crazy. It's so good. It's so good. And basically after that, I was hooked on him forever. Um, he is an incredible artist, honestly, honestly. He has the vocal chops of like any good soul singer from back in the day. Honestly, he could have he could have been a soul artist back in the day. He is so good. And I'm not even just saying that he's so good for a white guy. I'm saying he's so good for just Alan Stone. He's amazing. He's amazing. Um, and he really is a hippie with soul because if you listen to any of his lyrics or any of his songs, a lot of them deal with a lot of social commentary and what's actually going on in the world. Um, on Alan's self-titled album, a few songs discuss social and political issues, such as Unaware, Contact High, and What I've Seen. A live video of Unaware, Alan Stone from, from his mother's living room on Stone's YouTube account has been viewed over 5 million times. Stone wanted to have a different and weird setting for his video, so they wanted to have this at his mother's house and recorded it in her living room. Honestly, so good. And like Alan Stone, if you go on um, Spotify, I think they might still have it up. I'm not sure. Um, but they had this commentary with Alan Stone about his first album, his second album, second studio album. Anyways, um, Alan Stone. And um, it was a good commentary because he talks about a lot of what he was thinking about when he was writing a lot of those songs. And... Um, what he says is that a lot of his songs were very political and social commentary on what was going on at the time because when he wrote it, he was, uh, I think he was like in college at the time and he was, you know, it was during the Bush administration, right? And this the music totally works for Trump administration and any other administration that's just a little crazy out there, right? So it was during the Bush administration and he felt that the voice of the 20-somethings wasn't being uh, totally heard out there in the world. And so he was writing music for that generation of 20-somethings, going through the hard times, dealing with all of these issues going on, dealing with the crazy president who doesn't care about your voice and what you, how you feel and how this impacts your families and all of these different things. And so he was writing music for that and how he was feeling. And it really honestly is some of the best music that I've heard in such a long time. Lyrically, sonically, his voice, just like it goes, oh, it's the range of his voice. He can go gravelly down and he can go high up. It's just incredible. You honestly need to go to YouTube right now and check out his videos. They are so good. And he has so many good covers. Like he did a cover of one of my favorite Bob Molly songs of all time, Is This Love, and he does it so good. Um, he's done the, Marcy Playground song, Sex and Candy. 
it's just he, he can do covers really well he can do his original songs really amazing he is just incredible and i just think more people need to know about him they need to go out and support him he actually came to my city uh last year or maybe the year before and he came with one of my other favorite artists which i'm probably gonna do a discovered on as well uh soja and also with wale who soja and wale are both from the uh dc area but um Alan Stone is from Washington, which was cute because it was like the two Washingtons. But anyways, I actually had to miss that one because I don't remember what I was doing, but I, I either didn't have the money to go, which duh, or I just was doing something during that time and I can't remember what it was. But at any rate, I missed them coming here, which is sad. But the next time he comes, I'm definitely going to go see him. But he is incredible. Please, please, please go out and support him. Listen to his music. Watch his videos. Go to his live shows. I hear he's amazing live. He, he, he's just incredible. Um, most of his band is black. So that's incredible. Um, and he's just a dope, dope dude. Like, he just seems like the dopest dude. And he's just like somebody I would hang out with if like... If, like, I could be best friends with somebody that's, like, like that, I would be friends with him. Because he, like, does, like, the soul music, which is, like, one of my favorite genres of music of all time. Like, soul music, R&B is, like, my favorite kinds of music of all time, right? And then I'm very hippie. So, like, he's very hippie and he cares about, like, what's going on in the world. And, like, that's something that I do. So, like, for me, that's really important as well. So, I definitely recommend going and checking out his music, checking out his live performances, checking out his YouTube videos, and just, like checking him out because he's incredible insanely talented you will not regret it listen to his first two albums or first three albums sorry um and you will just be floored you will be jaw on the floor uh going crazy uh he'll be your new favorite artist i, I know it and um yeah with with all the fake fake fakeness out there in the world with no one really singing their own vocals or really do having good vocals um alan stone is a rare gem in 2017 and i definitely recommend you checking him out because he needs to be supported real real artistry really needs to be supported more honestly and so i recommend checking him out supporting him and yeah he's incredible he's honestly incredible some of my favorite Alan Stone songs are Reality off Last to Speak, his very first um, album that he ever put out, and then off of Alan Stone's debut solo uh, self-titled album. I love Sleep, Celebrate Tonight. Um, I love all the songs off of that. Basically, um, what I've seen, Say So, The Wind, Satisfaction, Contact Tide, Nothing to Prove, Your Eyes, Unaware is my favorite song of all time, and Figure It Out which are all amazing songs. I definitely recommend checking out his uh, self-titled album, Alan Stone. I actually had bought it on iTunes right after I listened to it because I was like obsessed with him at the time, and I still am. And he's amazing, so check it out. And then also check out Radius, the deluxe edition. And um, my favorite songs off there are American Privilege, Circle, Ups Upside, uh, Freezer Burn, Love, uh, Guardian Angel, Freedom, and then some of the bonus tracks, which are Loose, Voodoo, and The Bed I Made. And Freedom and also Faithful are all amazing songs, like amazing. So please go check out Alan Stone. Please go check out his covers. Please go check out his music videos. Please go check out his live performances. Just check it out. Go see him on tour. Go support him. He is amazing. Hippie with soul. I love him. He's incredible. Go check it out. You won't be disappointed. I promise. And yeah, until next time, peace and blessings.